Hi, this is another uh, very uh, rough video presentation I'm doing, another question that I get sometimes asked. Once upon a time this channel was actually very popular, in fact there was a time when it was like the third biggest channel in Australia, but that was a long time ago and I used to get a lot of people that used to email me uh, when I was getting a lot of views, even though it was mostly paranormal stuff. And uh, they'd ask me questions about things, and a lot of Christians would ask me questions about Jesus and the Jewish Messiah. And I wanted to do a presentation on who is the Jewish Messiah, like what, what do Jews, because a lot of Christians don't exactly know uh, what we believe in in terms of the Messiah. And I'm going to argue quite radically that there's a bit of a misconception with all of this. The Jews don't really believe in a messiah. There is no messiah. It's basically a Christian idea. And here's very briefly how it happened. I'm going to do a few videos on this. You had a few vague verses in books like Isaiah. They mention this saviour. They use the word Mashiach. Now Mashiach is, it's a Hebrew word, but it's also an Aramaic word. It's not uniquely Jewish. Many Jews don't understand that. It's not a uniquely Jewish word, it's a wider Aramaic word, it just means anointed, but it really means picked or chosen. Now a lot of people think that it refers to oil being, uh, oil being uh, poured on someone's head and that's why it's called, you know, we translate it as anointed, but that's not exactly what it means. It's a bit like, it, it's related to the word Moses, which in Hebrew is Moshe, and it means kind of scooped out or drawn up and uh, like out of the water and it's exactly the same it means a chosen one or, or someone that's picked by god and uh you know it, it's just a term like it's a self-understood term in any any aramean people or babylonian people it's like the word savior it's just self-understood so you've got these vague verses in isaiah and they uh you know talk about this uh, messiah but it's not a doctrine per se then fast forward a little bit and you've got the Romans in, uh, in Judea and they're sort of really persecuting Jews. So you get a couple of folk cults, you get a bunch of old women saying, oh, there's a Messiah's going to come and save us. But it's not a belief, it's just something that was happening. And then somehow that becomes the basis of the Christian faith, this massive monumental change in the world where Europe adopted Christianity based on this concept of a Messiah, right? So it's really a Christian idea, right? And it took Jews literally till the 11th century to kind of figure out whether they believed in a Messiah, what they thought about the Messiah. It took another thousand years. And they, when they did, it was really just to compete with Christianity, right? So around the time of a person by the name of Maimonides and another person by the name of Rashi, they kind of came to the conclusion, we believe in a Messiah too. But it's just to compete with Christians. As far as Judaism is concerned, the idea of Messiah is pretty vague. There really isn't a Messiah. And uh, thanks for listening.